one does it? Yes. I think she knows that something's different. Um, yeah, um, she's not used to being mm. with us like this. <laughs> I got you. I'm I got really you. Used to you guys spot. like to see them. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't expect. I didn't expect you to look so good together. And I'm really glad that you're happy. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you have lots of company. I uh, should scram. It's <laughs> okay. I'm just here to check her vitals. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. <laughs> oh, She's you get so beautiful every time I see you. <laughs> Chris, why don't you want to go in and see him? I just said it's not going to work. Look, I don't mean to pry, but if there was ever a time to put aside your differences with your brother. Paige just got finished telling us how serious this is. Antonio needs help. Not from me. Of course, from you. Of course. From everyone who cares about you him. You don't know what the hell he is going on, all right? So stop acting like you know what's best for my brother. You know, Antonio isn't lying in that bed because of some racist or because of Jessica. He's lying in that bed because of me. I knew for months what was going on with Jessica and Nash. And I didn't tell anyone. I didn't do a damn thing to protect my brother, which is all he's ever done for me. You know, even when I was in prison, he went out of his way to make, my, make sure my life didn't fall apart. And what do I do when I get the chance to do the same for him, huh? I screw it up. Christian, don't do this to yourself. I'm not doing anything, damn it, I'm telling the truth. If I told him from the start what was going on, none of this would have happened. How's Antonio doing? Well, actually, there, uh, there's been a complication. What kind of complication? He, um, he has septicemia. That's a blood infection. That sounds serious. It is. He's in for a real fight. Marty Sabro killed Spencer? Shh! It's not only all you invade. Marty Sabro killed Spencer. How on earth did you come up with that? I've been pretty popular lately. The guys on cell block D are awfully jealous that I've had not one, but two knockout women visit me. <sighs> so aside from me? Marty. Why was she coming to visit you? Don't sound so surprised. She's been hot for me for a decade. Anyway, she shows up out of the blue. She accuses me of lying about killing Spencer, says she knows for a fact that I didn't do it, and she backs it up with all this psychoanalytical gobbledygook about my character. None of which was even remotely accurate, by the way. But why would you assume that Marty killed Spencer? Maybe one of her patients confessed to her. Well, then why come talk to me about it? No, Marty's one of those upstanding types. She's not going to snitch on one of her circle of loons, even the scissor-happy ones. She was positive of my innocence. And it wasn't just a leap of faith. She talked like she had actual, tangible evidence. Then there is only one thing left to do. Get you out of here and put Marty in your place. You shut your mouth. I know. Uh, uh, Septa, uh, Simia. Antonio, get that because of something I did. No. No, Nash, what you did was incredible. It was heroic. And we could never have expected any more of you. Is he with his mom? She's on her way, and Christian's there now. You know, I'm, I'm gonna go talk to Chris. Oh. Do you mind if I cut out for a few things? Please. What's gonna happen, Paige? Well, we don't really know. We're gonna do everything we can. And meanwhile, you just have to try to stay healthy so that Antonio's gift wasn't given to you in vain. You heard? You okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna tell my mom what's going on. I, I wanna go in there and talk to him, but I just don't wanna make things worse. You know, Dr. Miller said that he, he needs the will to live, and I'm really scared he's lost that. It's just, you know, my, my telling him how, how much we need him, it doesn't carry much weight right now. Christian, you're not giving him a choice. Not 
by sitting out here and talking to me about it. You gotta let Antonio make that decision. Your brother's a little reluctant to come in here, so... Here I am. <laughs> you made such a huge sacrifice. Saving Jessica's life. But, uh, you're not done yet. Okay? You don't want your daughter thinking that when you do something good, it, it ends bad. You want to teach your little girl that when you help someone, there can be a happy ending. You gotta fight this. And you gotta do it for her. 